Hey guys, welcome back to Tracking the Wolves. My name is Shana Stein. And I'm Ben Jasterman. We got our seasons underway starting this week, so we have no past results. And we're here with two volleyball players, Sammy and uh, Ashton. And guys, how's the fall been going so far? Good. We went by really fast. But we're ready to have some opponents that aren't each other. That's good. And where do you guys go this weekend? We go to Springfield, Missouri. Ooh. We leave on Thursday and play Friday and Saturday. Are you guys ready for the bus trip? I guess. Is there anything fun you guys do on the bus, or you just watch movies and have girl talk? <laughs> we usually watch movies, and uh, most of the time we have internet on our bus, so we can do homework and stuff like that. Oh, that's cool, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Now, Ashton, you're a freshman this year, so uh, how does that translate from high school practice to college practice? Is it harder, different, or kind of just you're a good enough athlete to adjust to it? Or? It's a lot different, but it was easy to adjust because Coach Aldridge is such a great coach and he just makes you feel welcome. It doesn't put you like in the spotlight, which is nice because mm -hmm. then you just feel awkward. And then um, practice has just been going really well. We do a lot of the same drills and we just play each other a lot. And it's really nice to be able to just play. Are you guys going to be playing any Division One schools on your trip this week? No. I don't think so. No? No. Okay. Is it hard for uh, volleyball players to adjust to sitting on a bus that long and getting up the next day to go play? Um, it hasn't been too bad in my past experiences. Like when we go to Duluth or Upper Iowa, we go usually the night before and get in the morning we get our servant pass in and then we get warmed up and then we go eat and then go to the game. So it's just like having a game here. Do you guys ever get a stretch break during your trips? Usually. Usually they let us stop and eat if it's long. <laughs> nice. okay. So uh, do you guys ever get a lot of, uh, I know Sammy will be directed more at you, do you get a lot of hazing on road trips like when you go to the home <laughs> stadiums or? Usually not. I haven't experienced that too much. The only time we ever had that happen was at Upper Iowa the past three years. Would you mind telling us about it? <laughs> just their fans like to get after us. Nothing mean or anything like that, oh. just calling us out on stuff. That's good. Do you guys mm -hmm. have like a pregame routine or something that you guys do together as a, as a team or anything like that um, before games? Usually we just do the same thing in the locker room every day. When we get ready, we have lots of loud music and stuff like that just to get us fired up. What kind of music do you guys listen to to um. get in the game? Is it like rock music like football players do no. or it's usually rap rap <laughs> yeah no right. country i mean no country so that doesn't Dakota. get us fired up oh, <laughs> so do you guys ever find yourselves like wanting to sing along or do you just kind of like get in the zone and <laughs> yeah we have a few people that'll sing along maybe dance i don't know it depends on the day that's good mm -hmm. so ashton how do you feel that the upperclassmen have uh brought along the freshmen? Do uh, you think they've included them or have you been getting some hazing during <laughs> practice or made fun of a nickname or something? <laughs> well, practice has been going really well. Um, the seniors have been really nice this year and make us all feel welcome. We, they invite us to do a lot of things with everybody. They don't really single us out. They just have a few nicknames for us, but we probably shouldn't say them. <laughs> <laughs> do you That's have any appropriate ones? No. <laughs> it's good. It seems like there's a lot of good chemistry going on. So, you guys excited to be at home next weekend, right? Um, I think so. I'm, on the road. I'm not even You're sure. on the road again. Yeah. It's good. How do you um, are is there a different like game plan when you're on the road? Like, do you guys have more downtime when you're on the road than you're at home? Yeah, or? we have a lot of hotel time. That's for sure. But and when we're here, we don't have to be here till like three. So. But it's nice to be here and sleep in your own bed the night before games. All right, so Sammy, now that you're a senior, is it going to be a, do you feel like you have a lot of pressure on you since it's your last time you're going to be playing like a collegiate sport? Um, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say I personally have a lot of pressure, but because I rely a lot on the other people on my team and they, I don't know, they alleviate the pressure from an individual, that's definitely for sure. But... I don't know, I'm just excited and I hope we can do better than we did last year because we've been improving every year since I've been a freshman. Do you feel like uh, 
past seniors and upperclassmen when you were younger have helped you to get to where you are today as a yeah, player and definitely. leader? Yeah, like they showed me how to treat the underclassmen because they treated me well and helped me with not only volleyball but like classes and stuff like that. All right, so here's going to be a fun question here. <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> been wondering this. Everyone always asks. So every time you guys score, you guys freak <laughs> out, <laughs> scream, and do your clap thing or anything. Do you guys practice that, or do you have like a, we're going to do it on this point, we're going to do this or do that, or how does that go with the celebrating? <laughs> well, it's just when you get in the moment, you just do whatever you want. We don't practice it. We don't make prior plans <laughs> to what we're going to do for each point. It seems like the butt slapping is the most, uh, <laughs> most used cheer for you guys. Sometimes. It really gets you going. It's good. I guess. <laughs> well, I'm Shayna. This is Sammy and Ashton. Thanks for being here on the show with us. Thanks for having us. Thank you. And, uh, and I'm Ben, and uh, we're going to have a lot of games this weekend, so go out and support your wolves. I believe in service. I am full of passion. I embody sportsmanship. I trust in my resourcefulness. I like balance. That's why I chose. I chose. I chose. I chose. I chose. I chose Division Two. Welcome back. Just wanted to give a special thanks to Sammy Ashton and Coach Aldrich for being on the show this week. Uh, as well, uh, this weekend, soccer is going to be on the road to Kansas and Missouri, as well as volleyball will be heading to Missouri, too. And on Saturday night, we have our first home football game. It's going to be a whiteout, so that it's the first 100 fans will get a free white t-shirt, and all students come free, so get there. It's going to be a great game and a really good atmosphere. Thank you for watching Tracking the Wolves this week, and uh, don't forget to get to that football game on Saturday. Go Wolves!